Here's a great one, golf collectibles. Everything from clubs to shoes to bags to balls to tees. It's just an amazing assortment. This particular book is called, someone wrote this, they did, The Encyclopedia of Golf Collectibles. Let me just give you some basic pointers about golf, and I'm one who learned from experience the hard way. Golf clubs. You don't even want to look at golf clubs, really, unless they have, like, wooden shafts. Those are, I mean, if you're a basic golf, start in your golf collection, because then you know, at least you know they're old, because if the shafts are metal, they're newer. But there's all kinds of things <coughs> to look for. Wooden, wooded shafted clubs, 1890 to 1935. So that's probably what you want to check for first, for your first screening mechanism on your golf clubs. Iron headed, and they're iron headed. They are, they are wooden shafts, but iron heads. And here's all the samples. It's just, it's really an amazing. They have all the different brand names on them, and they, they probably call them signatures as well. Here they're called face markings. Iron head face markings. Oh, here, this is interesting. On the clubs themselves, the golf, the real golf freaks, which I'm not one, so I'm kind of faking my way through this one. Look at this. You can tell the type of the golf club it is, the brand, by the type of iron head face marking, which would be dots and dashes is one brand. Then there's a scored line, which is another brand. How about a hyphen? Can you imagine checking your golf clubs for hyphens? Yeah. Then we have a hyphen with dots in a box. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. Then we have an irregular hand-punched hole design. Then we have a dot-punched regular. And over here, a diamond back. I, I don't know about you, but I think golf clubs are just a little too much for me. I think I can't try to just, just, just get all this in my head. Here's the wood shafted club designs. It's just too much for me. I, I, it's fun, but here's some beautiful old advertising that they had for the golf clubs. They had these magazines. They had posters for tournaments. Here's a whole golf calendar. Yeah, you know, I, I really tried. You know, I tried to play golf. It was just boring. I really tried. I even took lessons because it was cool, but you played golf and, like, you know, you mix and mingle with the upper crust and all that. No. Here's the golf balls. These are assortment of Gouda Percha golf balls. Gouda Percha is a very unique uh, material. It's not rubber. It's kind of a plasticized, uh, old, old composition. Those are very interesting. Oh, I see it's getting late. I hear the bells ringing. I guess we better move on. But these golf clubs here, I, it's not my cup of tea, actually, but if you're a golf person, you might want to start here because some of you, you know, you have, may have a partner, a husband, a wife that's into golfing. And if they do the whole golf thing, well, maybe you can get into it a little bit if you're, like, interested in the kind of clubs they use or something. I mean, I don't know. It's only an idea. But if you'll notice, a lot of uh, executives and stuff have all this golf stuff in their office, like collectibles, like balls and pins and bags and tees and, you know, all that golf stuff. So anyway, this is uh, just kind of a different hobby. So I thought I'd just bring it to your attention because I didn't know if you'd even believe that there was such a thing as golf collectibles. And yes, there is. So good luck.